for my Bible study section. Um, this is like my personal Bible study and scripture journaling and like little cute sheets I make for myself when it comes to studying. This is, you know, I, I do work in here, as you see. Um, next is my journal. Not going to flip through this too much, but this is my journal. All right, I write all out my personal feelings and issues and concerns and things of that nature. Next is my prayer journal. These are where I write out my prayers, you know, pouring my little bitty heart out to the Lord and letting him know how I feel about him and life and stuff. So, there you have it. That is my classic. Lord, I hope I was in frame the whole time. All right, so let's move on to my mini. So, here's my mini in all of its mini glory. So, basically, deep down inside, I believe I am a mini happy planner. <sighs> When I'm on the go, my classic is just too big. Like, when I'm in church and people are telling me things and I need to write down dates and things that I'm supposed to do, it is really hard to pull my classic out and start writing it. Yes, it's super thick and super bulky, but so is this one. This one's probably bulkier. But it almost mirrors my classic. And deep inside, y'all, I think I want to be a mini happy planner. Like, And then they've come out with so much new stuff. Like... I think I'm a mini happy planner. I mean, I'm just, there, I said it. Whatever, two tears in a bucket. So, I made this cute little laminated sheet. I have no idea why it is blue. After I ran through my laminator, the pictures turned blue. I don't know what happened, but I put too much work in it to throw away, so I'm keeping it. This is an invitation for a women's fellowship. These are my little sticky notes. I use these to jot down um, pre-planning things and stick them on the dates. This is another envelope with receipts and other things in there. So this is my personal section with little personal things in there, like grocery shopping lists when I run to the store because what, I have this in my purse, it's easy to pull out and refer to. Same detergent um, DIY little sections. These are my savings goals. Why I didn't fill this in, I have no idea. Birthdays, not filled in, but it was cute. It looked cute on Instagram, I got some likes. And one day I'm gonna go back in here and fill it all out. Keto meals, I don't really use this very much. Weight tracker, as you see, I jump right on back to that 240 often. And I don't know. I be tripping. I be tripping. Um, I made this school plan out, um, this cute little sheet. Now that I am actually in school, I need to fill this out, but I haven't. Quick little chores. I made this the other day. I posted it on Instagram. Um, this is helpful because sometimes I'm like, oh, my God, I got so many things to do. And now I can just be like, you know what? I'm going to pick three things to do right here before my first client comes. And I just do them. And it, it makes me feel like I'm actually accomplished in life. This is blank paper. It's a really cute um, mom and so heart paper. I love it. Um, social media. This is my little social media tracker. It is so cute. I love it. Just track where I am. So when the month closes, I write out where I closed out at at that month. I don't know what this piece of paper is for. Put washi tape on it. Forgot what I was going to use it for. I didn't want to throw it out. Yep, the rest of that's just blank. Next, we have business. These are things I needed to do. Find um, some hair notes for the hair that I sell. We got, yep, notes about that. Um, my coaching is going to be centered around being a lazy keto coach. I'll probably do a video on that one of these days next tab is my ministry again my cute little schedule because like i said they mirror each other so i got kind of the same stuff in both so it doesn't matter which planner i have out with me more blank paper now we jump into the actual planner part okay disclaimer this planner is super d duper franken planned and you're gonna see in october why I never really write on the monthly section very much. See how this is taped together? Um, I don't even remember why this is taped together. Like, I have no idea. But it's in there. I did it, so I kept it. Um, some little daily sheets tucked in there. Um, this is when I was on my little 
flip over sheet. I have been trying for weeks to master the um, my little in-between sheet, my little reference sheet, my little dashboard sheet. I've been trying to master it for a long time. See, right here, I did, I did a little different that week. But, uh, yeah, I really feel like my mini gets more love than my classic these days. See, never filled these out. Not one. Not a one. But I will one of these days. I will. All right, October. Look at that. This is two monthlies stuck together. So in one of them planners I got, I really like the way the October tab was. Fall in love with moments. Like, I don't know. I wanted it. And then you got this. I actually wrote a little bit more on this monthly one. I'm so glad we live in a world where there are Octobers. I really love October. Little things that I gotta do. And look at this, what is this? Like, dude, what do I be doing? I have no idea. Now, I do know that this was Empowered Woman. I really liked it. I liked it a lot. And I had already, <laughs> like dated i mean not dated but already like semi-decorated this week and then i rolled up in michael's and i saw this and i bought it and i fell in love with it so um i did the work on it so i didn't want to throw it away so i left it in there so yeah i'm not getting rid of it and again my little two-sided to-do list yep this is me y'all this is the best intro i could give you so and these are two pages stuck together because October is the most franken planned month ever in my mini happy planner because I'm just trying to figure out which layout I love the best. And yeah. So this was the new one. This is the, um, I don't even know what it's called, but it's the cactus one. And I really love these three boxes. I do. I didn't do any real decorating over here. I kind of just threw it together. Because I kind of used this to pre-plan for my classic and wrote things down. And I did my little sheet again, but I didn't fill out the back. Um, this was kind of in response to the mom life dashboard. Like, this was my response to it. Like, I love the, the, the dashboard, but the planner thing, the planner layout, eh, not so much. Alright, so, and this is this week. As you see... This is very thick because these pages are stuck together. Yeah. So this is this week that we're currently on. I decorated it really cute. I actually thought it was really cute. But um, like I said, I have a lot to do this week, but it's mostly with hair clients. And I have a separate app for scheduling that. It's on my phone. So I don't write down those appointments so it doesn't clutter up my planner. So yeah. Yeah, so we flip on over, and what do we have here? It looks like what I messed around and redecorated <laughs> this week in the other layout. Because I don't know, I'm feeling this layout. I really think, I think that this is what I want. I, I like the way, I like it. I like the vertical, I like it. I feel like I can list things. I don't know, I like it. I'm really, I'm really liking it. Um, I use this little half sheet for my new keto prep when people are ordering certain things. I like to write down the day that they ordered and then when they're actually going to pick it up. So I don't have to write that in here. I can just refer to the sheet. Um, just ideas relating to the keto meal prep and in future coaching. So I made my little half sheet for this week. This was being used over here. This is why the washi tapes line up. But I just stuck it over here because I'm going to kind of be using this layout for the rest of the week. Excuse me. And, yeah. So, yeah, that's that. And I like keeping it in there because, you know, I like moving stuff around. So, I actually need to put it in like this. So, you know, there. And I may use this for next week. I probably will use it for next week. So, <laughs> the rest of the paper is right here <laughs> yeah i'm using it because see i already got my pre-planning notes right there i'm gonna move this somewhere or i'm gonna throw it away like i don't know but yeah that's what i'm currently on yeah <laughs> i whited out the dates and stuck sticky notes over top of it 
I never look at those calendars anyway, so it doesn't matter. But the rest of the months are from my mini um, squad goals. But I don't know. I haven't thrown them out yet. So who knows? What, what's going on right here? Like, it's like a whole piece of a week missing. Like, I have no idea. See, I, girl, I don't know what's going on. This is me, y'all. Hot mess. And now y'all know. I don't know. It's probably in what it's probably in my junk drawer somewhere. So here's my live well. This um almost mirrors the um other one where I track my weight and fitness and everything. So the first of the month, this is where I started. And every month I will write what my weight was for the next 12 months. So this is an undated extension. It's the workout one. And I'm still kind of tweaking how I want to make it work for me. So, this is where I started at Monday, 234.6. Then Tuesday, 233.6. And I woke up this morning at 231.2. If I can get up tomorrow morning at 229, y'all, I might start shouting. Anywho, these are my workouts. I just wrote them down because I didn't feel like printing out paper and cutting it out and resticking it like I did in the other one. And um, I'm going to write down what I ate and then, you know, my little journal section. And I'm actually using these sticky notes to kind of coincide with the journaling about what I did. And, of course, these are the amounts, I mean, you know, the number of bottles of water that I drank. So next we have, um, I'm going to put a progress selfie here. I'm going to try to put two of them right there because I know I took pictures of myself beginning month so these are like um the little card holders and I just stuck all the little cards in there because I thought it was cute this is where I jot down journal stuff so I journal in my classic and in my mini just depends on which one is with me um I found this card it says true story I just punched some holes in it and stuck it in there so you know those are my little journal pages that I have in my mini um I got this so tired paper but I'd be pulling it out using it for other stuff but I ordered some new happy notes so I can have some dot grid paper. I'm supposed to put something neat, nifty, and clever up there. I haven't done it yet, but I will one of these days. This is my prayers. And it's simply amazing because prayer is what is simply amazing. So those are prayers. It's not as many in here as it is in my classic, but it's in there. And this is supposed to be my Bible study section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or scripture journaling or Whatever I feel like, you know, writing scripture related in here. And hello today. But it's Blake right now. So, these are my planners. This is what I use to keep myself functioning. And I don't know about y'all, but I gotta have one or two of these with me when I leave. Um, even, I mean, yeah, when I'm going to the store too, because I need to have a list or I'll buy a bunch of stuff I don't need to come home with nothing that I need it. So... These are my planners. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this probably incredibly long video. And um, welcome to my crazy planner world. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next go around. If you like what you see, like, share, subscribe. Hit the little bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Because my goal is to get to upload more regularly. I feel like I can bust out two a week. I don't know. We'll see. But thank you guys. Talk to you soon.